Hello everyone, I hope you're doing really well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my love of flower tea. This is something I love to make, especially when I'm having guests over. So I think it's perfect for Mother's Day. First though, let me show you what you're going to need. To start off with, you'll need a tea kettle, an optional but a base with a tea light. This is great, it makes it look really cool. You also will need a glass teapot and some teacups. And then you'll also need to pick out your flower tea. So I have two options here. We'll see which one I pick. Lastly, you'll need a lighter if you're going to do the little tea light and base. So first up, let's pick which tea flower we're going to be using. I decided to go with the red lover. It just sounded kind of cool with the little bits of red notes. You can find these at any local tea shop. Um, David's Tea doesn't carry it, but a lot of local tea shops will have this. Then I'm going to set my kettle to the green tea temperature since it is a green tea and we'll just wait for the kettle to boil. Um, if you don't have like a fancy kettle like this, just try to do it before it gets too, too hot so it doesn't burn the leaves. As that's boiling, I'm going to get my tea light and my lighter and light it up. This just creates a really nice atmosphere. It's totally optional so you don't have to do this, but it just, it just makes it look extra special and cool. So I recommend doing it if you have those options available for you. Next, you're going to get your flower tea and you're going to put it into the base of your glass teapot. This flower tea is really unique and it's really cool. I think it looks like a bulb, so I call it a bulb, but technically, yeah, it's called flower tea or, and it looks really, really cool when you first see it. it. It doesn't look like it's anything. And really, the true magic starts to happen when you pour that hot water into it. Now, as you're pouring, you want to try to avoid hitting directly onto the flower tea. Um, it is very delicate, so you don't want to push it around or shake it up too, too much. So I just try to pour it going away from the flower bulb. It's going to move around as you're doing this. That's totally normal. And you're going to just kind of let it settle. You can also put the hot water in first and then add the flower tea. Then I'm going to take the teapot and put it on to the base. Now it's a waiting game, so it takes usually about 5 to 10 minutes for the flower tea to fully bloom. So it starts to slowly creep open. It's very delicate and it's a very slow process, so each of the leaves will start to pop open and bloom. I personally find it really relaxing to watch the tea leaves open. It's such a beautiful process and it's just such a cool invention. It's really, really magical and really neat, which is why I think it's a great thing to do for Mother's Day. It's a great gift idea too. Um, you can actually find the tea, like the tea flowers on Amazon and probably the glass teapots too, but the glass teapot you can also find at David's Tea. This one I actually got from the Hudson Bay Company. It was actually a really lovely wedding present from one of my dear friends so very special teapot <laughs> And now it looks like our flower tea has fully bloomed. You can tell because it's sitting near the bottom. It's fully open, it's voluminous, and it just looks so magical. So now you can pour this tea out. I have these cute little glass teacups. I actually got a David's tea. They're really cute, very dainty. And the tea itself is so delicious. It's usually green tea that's used for flower tea. Um, so hopefully you like green tea. And it's just so tasty and so delicious. So have you guys tried flower tea? And if you have, let me know. Or if you think you're going to try, let me know too if you do it and if you enjoy it. And there you go. That's the magic of flower tea. Really excited to share this with you. It's definitely something I always love doing when I have friends over or family. And now I'll just leave you with some cute close-ups of little Harlow hanging out by the teapot. I think she liked how warm it was by the tea light because she kept going over there while I was filming which I thought was really cute. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week or weekend depending when this goes up. Take care and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.